X-Guard, the only machine guard you need. It's extra fast, extra smart, extra flexible. X-Guard, are you ready? What is the impact of the changes in Annex 1, paragraph 4 of the new machine directive on machine guarding? We kindly give you a clearer view. Guards and protective devices must be of robust construction and be securely held in place. or render non-operational. It has to be located at an adequate distance of the danger zone. They should cause a minimum obstruction 
to the view of the production process and enable essential work to be carried out. In addition, guards must, where possible, protect against the ejection or falling of materials or objects and against emissions generated by the machinery. This part is new in the new directive and refers to UV protection for welding, for example, or small particles flying through mesh. So you should use other material to protect against this particle. What are the requirements for fixed guards? They must be fixed by systems that can be opened or removed only by tools. Their fixing system must remain attached to the guards or to the machinery when the guards are removed. And what about the requirements for interlocking movable guards? As far as possible, remain attached to the machinery when open. Can be adjusted only by means of an intentional action. Interlocking movable guards must be associated with an interlocking device that prevents the start of hazardous machinery until they are closed and gives a stop command whenever they are no longer closed. Where it is possible for an operator to reach the danger zone before the risk due to the hazardous machinery has ceased, movable guards must be associated with a guard locking device in addition to an interlocking device that prevents the start of the hazardous machinery functions until the guard is closed and locked and keeps the guard closed and locked until the risk of injury from the hazardous machinery function has ceased.